Hello folks, this is Al Williamson with IFAS Communications Video and I'm here to talk about the ability to edit videos that are up on a YouTube channel. Uh, we've seen instances where in this day and age of using Zoom to record presentations where folks may have a presentation that they've recorded and they've uploaded to YouTube but the beginning of the video is where they're waiting for a guest to arrive or they're talking to some of the people in the audience and then they go okay let's get started well you got a lot of extraneous video usually at the beginning and sometimes at the end well this is a way that once it's uploaded into YouTube that you could edit that particular video down so again to, real quick let's say you got to zoom recordings you go through your recordings find the one you want to download click on it choose which which segment you want download and it's now on your computer then you upload it and now it's up on your YouTube channel so I'm using as an example a video that was or a presentation that was recorded a while back uh, that is by Dr. Place, our former Dean of Extension. And I'm going to kind of use it as an example uh, for this particular uh, tutorial. So the first thing you do once you've got your video up inside the studio is you click on the editor and this is what you would get. Now this is the interface. If you want to get closer to your video, in other words, uh, zoom in. There's a little zoom in feature over here on the right and especially when you're dealing with a long video this may be something you want to incorporate or take advantage of only because uh, a, an hour-long video is a long time inside this little interface so let's just say I'm gonna start here and there's gonna be a little bit of talking here that takes place where we're waiting for the recording started but Dean Place is waiting okay. for see he's looking Let at me watch. Know Al when you're ready and we'll get started and so we kind of wait till he says You'll hear me say recording. And recording. So I'd pause there. And so I'm going to click on trim. And you see this blue bar that appears. So I'm going to drag this blue bar to that point. And there you go. That's where it's going to begin once I decide to cut that particular part off. Uh, bear with me here. So if I go to the end. And kind of follow the same process, and I'm gonna play it here. Been able to ask or um, additional questions that you have, uh, please email that address, and um, we'll address those and, and get back to you. So again, I'm gonna drag this little blue bar here to this point, and there's there's my edit points. So let's be clear about what this editor can and cannot do. It's basically a way to cut videos down you can't add a picture you can't add video and you can't really be super super precise so, so let's just say I've already made my cuts and you have a preview mode and you click this now depending on how the connection speed it takes a little while for this process to take place and it will preview it but we're not going to go through that today because again depending on your, your uh, speed and the length of your video this could take a little while but let's just say you feel pretty confident you got what you want. You can go up here to save, click save. It'll ask you if you want to save it. You see this little message here. And it appears that you can save and you can keep an original version. But if you don't want the original version, you can save as new. It's being processed. And it tells me to come back later. And we're back. Uh, this whole process, just so you know, took about 30 to 40 minutes. Again, this is an hour-long presentation that was cut down. So I'm not surprised that as an online editing process that it takes a while. And again, just something to bear in mind. If you do an edit, you may want to make the edit, save, and then step away for a few minutes and just come back later uh, I will tell you when I watch this it's a little bit off let me just play it real quick for you try to do these uh, or aim to do these webinars every June and December to provide so it just kind of got cut off a little bit more than what I'd like so if I wasn't happy with that I would go back up to here and I could 
revert to original and start the process over again. However, if I'm happy with what happens or what I've got, I can say save as new and it will replace this existing video. Another thing I can tell you that this particular editing pro program offers or editing feature offers is split, which what you can do with it is you can choose a section. Let's say you've got a section in the video that you want to take out. You can click on split. You see there's a blue line that appears there. I'm going to drag this out a little bit like this. I know that's pretty much what I want. And then I can say clear it, or excuse me, preview, and it will take that out. Now, if you want to get really precise, I'm not saying really precise, but if you want to get precise on this, you could actually put in numbers, like what I'm going to do here, just to show you this. Know that this particular um, section I want cut out ends at 54 seconds. The ending will cut to 54. So, in other words, you can use numbers to kind of fudge your your edit points. Big caveat: this is not extremely precise. So, if you really want to like try to cut out words or cut out uh, phrases, it might not be your best option. So, I'm just putting it out there. And again, if you have to go through the proof you process, you click on that. It takes several minutes. If I click on the word save. That even takes even longer because it's going to go through the whole batch process again of, you know, turning this into uh, a shorter version of the original. So, again, if I don't like what I've done, I can just say click discard changes. And it goes back to what it was. And then if I want to uh, save as new, it overwrites the existing version. And now I've got a shorter video. So, again, this is a feature that YouTube offers maybe something you may want to look at if you have long presentations that you want to cut something off the front and off the end just something to consider and we offer that as you know a suggestion if you want to do that there may be another alternative out there you can use the editing software where you edit before you upload your videos uh, that is an option if you have editing software there is an editing software with Windows 10 which is called photos and there's another video on this YouTube channel that will cover that again an overview and if you want to take a look at that I may also add it as part of a playlist so thank you so much for your time and have a great day